hello 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 how is everybody how's everybody doing <laughs> um wow let me catch my breath i was just running down from there but um hello welcome to my channel i'm melissa to those of you who are new to my channel um welcome to my channel life and lesson <laughs> um so i just want to come on here because i had a real urgent message i have a real urgent message um a uh, god just led me to just come on here to share this message i mean because everybody talking about it and i wasn't going to say anything about it but god just allowed me you know to share with my viewers like the information that i have gotten because right now i'm in medical school i'm going to school to be a medical assistant so god just is like uh, want me to like to share you know share the information that you have been getting you know in school from your class you know in classes you know to help somebody else so um i didn't go to church this morning i overslept and um i'm like okay so lord you know what can i you know what to do today so usually when i don't go to church i usually stay home when i stay home i read my bible i just study just because I don't go to church doesn't mean that you just sit home and do nothing. So I usually pray. I read my word, you know. And so I got up this morning and, you know, I was just meditating. I was just reading, you know, the word of God. I was just reading the word of God. Um, I you know with everything going on with the coronavirus and everything. So God just led me to the scripture, John, John 14, let not your heart be troubled. So I was reading that scripture. And after I got through reading that scripture, I got up, I was like, I need to run to the store, you know, to get some items, you know, you know, sanitize, you know, some hand sanitizer and stuff. So I went out to the store and I came back and I got back, you know, I was just still kind of troubled. I was still kind of troubled. So I said, you know what, God, I'm going to put my face in your word. I'm going to put my face, like literally just stay in your word until I get a peace because right now I'm just feeling trouble and to anybody just watching this video and you see what's going on with the coronavirus I know right now you probably feel troubled in your spirit you probably feel fear from and God has not given up the spirit of fear but love power and the sound mind God don't want us to be in fear and I look on TV and social media you see people how they go into the store they stocking up you know you know, it's okay we do those things, we stock up, but what we forget is put your, put your trust in God. We have to put our trust in God. We still need to be cautious, be alert, but don't forget who your source is. Don't forget who your father is, who your healer is, who your deliverer, who your protector is. And all these, this is going on with this coronavirus. I mean, if you read your Bible, open up your Bible and read Revelation. A lot of the things, like when they have all um, the pledges, who knows, these might be one of the pledges. And God is trying to get our attention to pray, to pray, to fall on your knees, to humble yourself, to fall on your knees, and to seek my face. And I want to share this scripture with you guys. And there's two scriptures I want to share with you guys. The first one is the one I was reading this morning, John 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. The second one is, I think everybody, everybody needs to read this scripture right now. Or what's going on right now with the coronavirus. Um, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people which are called by my name, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face. And... You know, then will I hit you? I will heal the land. You know, repent. He want us to, you know, to humble ourselves, to repent, to seek His face, and then there will be a healing in the land. And it's so much sickness and stuff going on in the land. Our land, we really need a healing. We need a healing. So I just want to share this with you guys. You know, don't you know? Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't be fearful. Right now, what we need to be doing is getting our Bible, open it up, and just get in it. Just get in it until this coronavirus, this coronavirus storm just pass over us. We just need to get in our Bible and just, you know, say, you know what, Lord? I'm going to read your word. I'm going to seek you. I'm going to read your word until this thing just bypass us because that's all it is. You know, this is one of the attacks of the enemy. It's attack of the enemy 
and it's on the um, uh, it's on America. It's an attack. And so the information that I want to share with you guys is um, my last class I had. It was a um, autonomy of physiology, and my instructor, you know, um, she's from the Philippines. She was just showing, she was just sharing some information with us, and we was talking about the coronavirus before it got real real big. And he was talking about coronavirus. And then she was saying how the coronavirus, and I heard someone else too say it too, so you have to research it. Like, when you hear these things, go research it. Get on your internet and just research it. And they were saying how the coronavirus had been around for years, like since the 1960s. But the only difference is, it's like when I guess when you look up under the thing, the, the they call it the telescope it changed into another shape, to another form. So that's why they make it seem like it's new. It just came out. But they say it's been around for years. So it's just it just changed into another shape. Changed into another shape and form. So that's the information that I want to share with you guys. Like, you know, so let's not, you know, let's not be panicked. Because when we panic, you're in fear. And what we're doing is we're saying that God... Our God is not God. He can't pull us through this. He can't get us through this. So what we need to be doing right now is falling on our knees, praying, and seeking his face. And the last thing I want to share with you guys before I end this video is I just want to share some tips, you know. And, um, so I just want to share some tips, you know, that to keep you, um, to anybody, you know, you're watching, you probably want to know, okay, well, what do we do? We, you probably already know. They say the main key thing is keep hand sanitizer. Keep your hand, keep your hands washed. Try to refrain from hugging people or touching people. If somebody sneezes, you gotta try to, you know, you cover, use your elbow, you cover your mouth, or if they cough, you cover your mouth. That's to protect yourself. But keep your hand washed. Keep hand sanitizer. That's why I went to the store tried to get some hand sanitizer, and it's it's gone. <laughs> it's all gone. So I said, Lord Jesus, just cover me, cover me. I'm like, oh, they just out of stock with hand sanitizer, water, paper towel. They just wiped it out. So. I just want to say, keep your hand sanitizer, keep your hand washed, and the distance, if you have the distance, um, disinfect spray, the Lysol spray, just spray around your house, spray on the doorknob, just spray around, and another thing, or if you have the, um, the disinfect wipe, like, what I was doing when I was in school, before our last day, I would take, like, the sanitizer, and I would wipe my, compu my computer, keyboard, like, anything, if you're in the house, your keyboard, anything, just you just wipe, just wipe it off. Or if you get in your car, wipe off your screen. You know, you never know. People, you know, they spray germs. Anything you touch, just just wipe it off. So these are just like some health, some helpful tips that I want to share. That you know, God put on my mind. Like you know, I was just in the bed and I was reading my word. And he just let me like share, share, share. You know, so I just want to share this. Um. Because um, for what I was told is that you can still have all the symptoms. You can have a high temperature. You can be coughing, sneeze. You have all the symptoms and you still do not have the virus. But if you but if you do like have like a high fever, someone you know they have a high fever, just be take precaution and just tell them to go get it checked out. Um, because um, my instructor my yeah my the class I'm in now uh, my instructor she went away on a trip and she came back and she she said she was not affected with the uh the coronavirus so she said she had the flu but still I said that I was gonna take it upon myself to you know take cautions and just go get just go get checked out just go get tested to be on the safe side so if it's a family member a loved one a friend you know uh, they have a fever or something you just tell them hey just be cautious, just you know, just go get checked out to be on the safe side. So I don't want to make this a long video. I just want to come on here and share this um to share this beneficial information with you guys. I pray and I hope that you guys are, you know, being safe, keep your hand washed, you know, keeping sanitized. Don't panic. Remember when I said don't panic. Get your Bible, get in your word, and just Meditate on the word, pray until this coronavirus storm just bypass us. And um, 
I pray and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Be blessed. I love you with the love of Jesus. See you in my next video.